Welcome back, my dearest, evilest Germans! Welcome back to ever so amazing. Demon is sexy and you know it. Not really, that's a lie. Nice stuff, isn't it? Anyway, welcome back to ever so amazing Sexy Southern Strike, where I am playing the most greatest German game that never existed, Southern Strike 1 Forever. Isn't that amazing? Sexy indeed. So, now we finally have our pontoon, massive pontoon bridge that we can travel across with our massive amount of soldiers, women and children, and all the good stuff that we really need across this river. But not really. First, let's move on our beautiful, ever so amazing tanks, which are, we have the M44 Chaffees, we have the beautiful A34 Comets, and we have the Churchill tanks. We also have some Valentine tanks. Those are the specifically the tanks that we have at this mission. No American stuff. Not really. Well, to be honest, M24 Chaffee, I think, is an American douchebagginess. Oh, fuck. Well, oh, fuck. Run, you fools, they're coming! Shit. 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 Run! Run, you fools, run! That's full fucking douchebaggery. Run! Okay, we'll survive this. Fucking douchebaggy Americans. Why would you open fire up on your own people? Oh wait, those were Germans! Okay, I was expecting worse, but it's okay. Didn't... I was honestly expecting worse. Those Americans! How dare they do these things to us? Okay, we'll have to rebuild the bridges yet again. It's gonna take some time, but not really. But it's gonna take some time. It's okay. It's okay, my friends. It's okay. Uh, so those were the German bombers. In a Sunstroik one, they're quite smaller looking. The mostly all everything is smaller looking in terms of airplanes compared to Sunstrike 2 and Resource War. But anywho, let's go back again on making the stuff happen here. Okay, so again, this is the point here at this video will be a us actually moving across the river and trying to connect with the 122s. But first we have to move across the river. That, my friend, is gonna take some time. And also we're getting more reinforcements. Some chaffies again, which is very nice. They're light, like the M5 Stewards, but a little bit better because they have 75mm guns. How nice! Isn't that nice, my dear friend? Yes, Demon, it is very nice. Very nice. Indeed. Indeed very nice. It's okay. I understand. You do not understand what I'm talking about, but it's okay. It's okay. I do not judge you. But again, uh, let's do this before the secondary bomb raid comes around, the bombardment raid comes around, or the douchebagginess comes around and blows the crap out of this bridge. Again, how the fuck do they know that I'm here? How? Oh, there is nobody alive! Unless they have utilized the radio communication and before they died here. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, so Jeep is gonna be the thing that I will definitely be needing here, as he's gonna be crossing and he's gonna be exploring like nobody's bitch. Again, it, that's the entirety of the gist here. Again, as I said, first cross the beautiful river. Then we cross, that is, then we explore the damnable outages out here, which are the outages. I don't know why would they call it outages, just just the beautiful countryside of, of France. I think we're still in France, to be honest, so hell's bells. Anywho, moving on, let's just first explore these sides. If there are no Germans here, that's a good thing. If there are Germans here, that's not a good thing. But again, just to maybe even find a possible enemy stuff here. Maybe, um, again, 122s, maybe some types of mortars, maybe more tiger tanks, Yak Panthers, Yak Panthers, Yak Dangers, Longers, who knows? Just a bunch of German stuff. It would seem there is nothing. I'm happy about this. Let's get this is pretty much an opening here. Pretty open terrain, that is. I like it. So that means the Germans might like it. No, they do not. How nice of them. So again, pretty much a clear route towards this specific factory. Here, <coughs> or depots, those German depots. We can again try and bomb this because before we truly move in with the big stuff, is again, we do not have uh, the beautiful officers that can give us a little bit of better insight. But you know what? I'm not complaining. Maybe these jeeps are as great as you can have it in terms of of a scouting to be honest 
so hell's bells yeah definitely nothing my friends definitely nothing to worry about I would say okay so yeah pretty much clear this entire area is open for business for us I'm happy about this I don't think the Germans will be happy about it but it's okay we're gonna make a proper lines proper formation lines and all the good stuff we'll get the 834 hey, let's get actually everyone now across everyone let's go let's go this is gonna be our setting point now again we're yet to know really is there more things around these location we do not know we do not know the Germans might be around these trees they have not noticed us yet so there is that let's get here park our beautiful supply vehicles over here while we move in with the big boys the tanks the glory tanks the glorious British army we shall be moving directly into the German lines but first and foremost we have to cross the bridge it's always about the bridge when you play as the British bastards it's always about the bridges okay let's get over here thank you very much with those soldiers uh, I have no use for you but I do actually have a use for you you're gonna get back after after everybody crosses so we pick up this maybe field gun I don't think we'll be needing the field gun to be honest Hell's Mother Humping Bells, that's a lot of beautiful riflemen and that's always a good thing because you know that I know that everybody likes rifle people and the moment we destroy these, oh wow, well, that's a nice little outpost here for the Germans, probably but again, I'm gonna try to avoid, it's just a setup, it's just a setup my friends, it's just a setup before we truly move into those lines and by that I mean we, before we truly truly move into those lines with love and care but not really because now we're gonna be probably moving all these tanks on the bottom to the right and get again behind these we gotta get closer with 122s though and knowing that there are no more Germans anywhere close to those lines specifically to these lines it's all nice and dandy let's get these beauties these American M1 Garand personas let's get as close as possible we know that our friend died over here there he is there is his dead corpse not a live corpse, that would be a zombie, but dead corpse. I'm going to get moving these beauties immediately. All 122s will be moving to a specific position to which I might not like, like. We might be safe there. We might be motherfucking safe. So this is why I'm going to be moving these guys. I'm going to leave these this entire group except, except, uh, like, you know, except the beautiful uh, snipers. These snipers actually are like officers. They have a massive range, so that gives us some kind of a hope that we'll have to be able to see the enemy before they see us. But again, to remember, the Germans do have officers all over the goddamn place. And I am being annoyed by this motherfucker who just goes around instead of going for his secondary objective that they gave him, his secondary waypoints. I have no idea what the fuck is happening with him. I don't care to be honest, but it is annoying me a little bit. So again, just get a close, bomb these locations, no, no, specifically these locations. So we'll get as close as possible, my friends, as close as possible. Okay, so we'll have some beautiful Americans guarding these points in case the Germans uh, try to outmaneuver us. So we're going to spread these beautiful men all around. So this is going to be a staging area for us with the 122 specifically. Let's get them 122s over here. Thank you very much. Come on, guys, over here. Excellent. Let's get the snipers into the position. We have the British bastards protecting our flanks, which is so nice of them. Such a nice British bastards they are. But to be honest, you can actually guys all move behind. Let's that close because, you know, honest, utilizing trees or being inside the wooded areas would be much more preferable for infantry and at the end of the day. They don't see us. We don't see them and all the good stuff like that. Okay. Uh, maybe we could position all of our mines like here yeah like that let's position mines over here in case just in case if stuff happens like for instance you maybe they attack us against from behind with the tanks that would be a very bad thing of course that would be a very very bad thing okay well, let's wait it out a little bit just wait it out a little bit let's see what's happening here everybody in the position good 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 I likey 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 this excellent let's get these beauties now completely to the bottom side here we we'll avoid the town if we can actually stay here you three stay here give us some kind of possible it's towards the Germans I just hope there is nothing here though right here that would be kind of a bad thing 
It's all depend on if the pathfinding does well. I mean, there I never really like encounter a bad pathfinding in Soundstrike compared to Blitzkrieg, for instance. Blitzkrieg has some of the most atrocious pathfinding in game. Ming, like I really don't like that pathfinding. So this is gonna be our staging area where we're gonna be moving into the flanks, maybe. I think this is good enough. This is good enough. Okay, let's drop our troops again over here. Stay over here. Beautiful transport. You actually are gonna maybe stay back or go forward or go backward. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you, my friend. I don't know what I'm gonna do with you. I'm gonna stay like this. Let's move a little bit closer. Get our soldiers up there. Let's get our soldiers up there. Thank you very much. Excellent. I think this is a good position. It's all dependent if the Germans cross this line. If they do, that's gonna be a bad mojo. Let's collect all the riflemen that we have here at the moment. Let's get them over here and position again all those mines. Do remember again, the enemy might get reinforcements of some kind from these sectors. We know that they have a lot of stuff probably here. Well, we know. I mean, someone did shoot everything. I think when the first time I played this, just the beginning part, I saw the panthers and the tigers and the bears, and there were bears. There were truly some evil, evil bears. <clears throat> now having some machine gunners to defend or do anything is gonna uh, be atrocious because of the range Just because of the range again having the riflemen up front We can snipe the living crap out of the Germans is always a nice thing Okay, now let's make a proper defense line of our staging area here With whatever we truly have here beautiful having one 834 Comet w Is always a nice thing. It's always a nice thing. Let's see. Okay. You stay where you are here a little bit in the open so I know where you truly truly are let's get you two over here beautiful job my friends and more troops incoming here excellent this is gonna be the stay no no this is gonna be the staging area this is too close to this little bit of a town this village of evil excellent you guys still stuck really are we having issues here are we honestly having issues okay let's get these two out of I don't know I have no clue what the fuck is happening with this one I have no freaking clue. Okay, just drop him. Thank you. Can you actually even move? No, you can't. You're, he's stuck because of him. My God, what a disaster this truly is. What a disaster. We don't need all freaking 15 of these bastards, truly. We do not need 15 of these, which are only 5 we have. But what's good? We're having 5 122s. Let's be honest. In a previous mission at D-Day, 122s did their massive job against the Germans before we even touched upon certain locations. So let's be honest here, if I keep these guys alive, everything is gonna be fine. I just need to do this, as, you know, in terms of uh, resources, we're not gonna be that close to this. So we're gonna turn on 122s and start opening fire on uh, specific points. And those specific points are gonna be these specific points. So let's drop a few nades here because they are more difficult to menage mostly because of the blindages now the thing is if there are no whatsoever like any type of enemies in uh, for instance these locations like these I can move in my resource trucks and go around completely and do what I needed to wanted to do in the first place feed the 122s okay first and foremost spam those beautiful mines thank you very much And let's see what do we have here. Mm, okay, so we're gonna maybe first we're gonna explore a little bit. First we're gonna explore a little bit. Move a little bit with our infantry. Though again, as I said, some machine gunners are not gonna be the most useful unit. Let's go. Like again, the range they're gonna get one shotted probably by the German uh, super ultra uber mansions, and that would be kind of a bad I think. Colonel, I mean, if they die. And again, keeping these guys alive would be more preferable. I'm not seeing any German tanks, at least in not these locations. But as you can see here, quite a defense line. They're like, they were expecting that some will be coming from this location, that is from the rear. And that is going to kind of like saying you, okay, so they might have some heavy defenses. I'm not going to destroy this and bomb this position. Because if we can capture this, we can overlook this entire area with no problems whatsoever. Which means that they might have munition... Uh, well, that is maybe maybe even supply truck that we can capture. If not supply trucks, maybe something more useful. Maybe a um, tiger or a panther that we can capture, which would be a nice addition to 834 Comet. 
Anyway, so I guess you guys have opened fire, wasted a huge chunk of ammunition. Not really, actually. Or did ya? Let's see, I have some men over here. Uh, I don't need you, thank you very much. Spread these, spread the love. Spread the American love, if you will, here. Thank you very much. Let's see. Nine. Uh, that's enough. I mean, as I said, if I can move with the supply trucks from around, I can just do whatever I really want now, to be honest, if you think about it. Again, a blind dodges do need to disappear, and it, that's only penalty if we hit the right spot. And there it goes, that blind dodge is gone. As you can see, definitely we cannot, see, it says blind dodge, this one doesn't say blind dodge. That means that they, that blind dodge is com has been completely annihilated by our 122s. It doesn't say a tower, that means it's a good thing. But again, there could be a lot of Germans in one place, even a tiger or something. There is enough space here to move the tiger in or something, but specifically I'm thinking M MG34s and I'm thinking definitely AT guns. And there you go, a nice hit right here. Again, let's first concentrate on defense and, and of course feeding of our 122s and of course uh, securing the road here. Again, securing the road with the mines. It, this, this amount of mines is going to be enough. It should be enough for what we really need to do here. Drop, thank you very much. It's going to be enough. At least for the specific, if the enemy moves in. It's going to destroy a bunch of the th uh, tanks. Trucks. And trucks also, they're going to be activated. Trucks in some troops, they're going to just go boom. And also doesn't, I don't know exactly this, the, the survivability of the specific troops inside the trucks. I mean, who's going to know that? that that's just too much detail that Demon will never remember. So hell's bells. Okay, so for now we're going to be utilizing this group to, uh, to mine that specific upgrade. point, unless... <laughs> Well, we get reinforcements for that specific point, then we are fucked. Let's see, did we get any possible Hello. new reinforcements? Uh, no. Okay, so this is what we really have. I'm going to destroy this uh, bridge, make a bridge over Ready here, attack. attack the enemy from the sides if need be. I don't know, I do. is there even a reason in trying to do this? If I can do what I'm doing now, and we can definitely take the city before the year's end. So that's a good thing. Okay, so let's see, what do we have here? We have a truck, I need a supply truck, uh, two supply trucks, always a good thing, let's get them over here. We have two additional, great, because we're going to be feeding out 122s like nobody's bitch. We're going to have a huge chunk of all supply trucks now go across that pontoon bridge and towards this specific location. Is that blinders destroyed? No. Let's destroy a few more times and maybe even waste all the ammunition on the blind dodge. But again, it seems how, how, how we are missing on these specific points. Which is funny, because when I notice that the Germans, the moment they see one of our units, they start utilizing 122s or even even 20mm mortars, it's going to be the thing of the past. Okay, that's it. You did a beautiful job. And I think this is it. Uh, maybe we bombed this specific location, but I think this should be it. Uh, now we're going to concentrate on destroying these locations like this it's not not spam everywhere maybe as just specific points and that's it so we wasted all ammunition on that specific hill which is fine if we can reach with our resource Ready tracks it's fine we did good excellent let's get these guys over here thank you very much let's get our beautiful tanks a little bit closer now as I think I have done enough almost enough at least in terms of the attack upon Ready those certain attack. locations. Again, we're gonna take this first, then move into here, then move into the city slowly but surely. Thankfully we have this lake kind of uh, covering us as much as the Germans, but at the end of the day this is gonna be perfect position for the 122s to be positioned, so we can bomb the entirety of the city. Like this is gonna be the perfect position here. I just saw the damnable thing, but it could be a perfect position. Okay, let's spread the love the Englishman rifleman let's go to where where you're full you're full okay you two down do we really yes down over here this is this this is where we're gonna be putting all of our soldiers into one basket so that when 122's enemies want to start opening fire they're all gonna die so that's the key all British men they're gonna die like little bitches it's very important that he 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 was not killed immediately okay someone killed something and that's a bad thing that's a bad sign that means the enemy knows we are here finally as long as I don't see those bombers again it's fine let's spread the love 
Let's get closer a little bit with the 834 to be honest. It's gonna be the biggest gun we have here. We have the Valentines, we have... I mean, I like the Valentine, I really do. Uh, I, I mean, Hell's Mother Humping Bells. We are actually surrounded completely with Valentines and one 834 Comet with 77mm gun. Okay. Beautiful. Let's get these bad boys over here. That's four trucks. Those four trucks are enough to feed what we need them to feed. And again, I can't move him, but I will be able to take this beautiful field gun with an additional truck. The German truck. Not the American and not the British one. The British do not have their own trucks in this game. Excellent. So now they're at the moment feeding our beautiful English riflemen with the new mines. So I'm going to be utilizing additional mines to position them in different spots. Because this is enough. This was mined enough. Now we're going to position a little bit more down the road. Now specifically maybe off-road. So we can position some mines in case the Germans think that off-roading is good for business. Because it's not. It never is. Okay, so again, I like that aspect of Southern Strength, where you can just utilize these small details. Again, that's all about details, but the small things to make the game completely manageable. Be it the mission or the whatever. Just make it completely manageable just by utilizing certain things and blocking certain routes. And then all, and you're like, holy crap, that actually worked. That's a good feel, to be honest. That's a completely good feel. Okay, let's position more mines right here, and position more mines right here. Can I? No, right here. No, 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 right here. All right here. Excellent. Okay, so what I want you to do is get over here. You go across, do a little bit driving through the foresties and see if there is anybody going to be opening fire upon your ass. Okay, definitely. See, that's definitely going to be an issue. Yeah, that might be an issue. They might be seen by the Germanoids. There are no Germans here, which is a good thing. Excellent. Always a good thing, my friends. Always a good thing. We might be able to utilize the snipers, get to this location, and get slowly on these open fields. Right? And then we'll be able to oversee what the hell is going on here. Maybe. Let's see if that is actually manageable. Okay, so you guys have positioned all the mines. Not really. Let's position more of the mines. Right there, excellent. That's that's the last portion of the mines we have on these British riflemen. Excellent, beautiful. Now go back, completely go back here. Move your lines backwards. Excellent, beautiful. This way we allow the Germans to think that we have moved away too much, and that means they move in. They will move in with their tanks, their panthers, their tigers, their yak tigers, their yak panthers, their king tigers, their whatever new animal the Germans are gonna make up. Uh, <coughs> but hell's bells. Okay, where is that beautiful sniper? Okay, let's see now what exactly the Germans have in that location. Can we go to the complete side? No. Okay, stop. Stop. I'm not gonna raise these guys until I know, I completely know that this is gonna actually work. Unless I know this is going to actually work, I'm going to position some men and make a line like this here. So when these guys pass, I know that nobody's going to shoot at them. Maybe we can utilize one by one. That actually could completely work. You can see some of them have not dropped all the mines, which is not nice. But it's okay. Let's get them now here. Okay, off-road. Let's go. Off the road, guys. Off the road. Beautiful. Drop some mines, the rest of them, that is. Let's get over here. I know one of them still has a mine, but it's okay. We're going to drop it somewhere like here. Why the hell not? It might even stop a tank or something. Who knows? Now, of course, immediately, because they are on the move, they're going to just do it by their own and feed our men with the beautiful, beautiful mine love. Oh, God, why do you get that close? Are you insane? Stop moving. You guys don't have enough ammunition to feed all the 122s anyway. That's 15,000 they have. And remember, the bigger the caliber, the bigger the, the massive amount of things, uh, the massive amount of ammunition is going to go away. So that's always the important thing. Just imagine feeding the the beautiful, uh, that's Tiger thingy that has the massive thingy that has a 380mm shell. How it is called, I forgot now all of a sudden, my, my, my ancient enemy, but it doesn't really matter, it's the, the, the evil massive thing, not, not the Brumbar, the other thing. Anywho, that thing, just imagine how much ammunition that thing actually eats, specifically in this game. Okay, let's position the last mine here, 
We're gonna leave you here because you're just such an amazing person. This one British rifleman. Did we actually move everything we need? Yes, we did. Okay. Let's position these guys right here. Move a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Thank you. Transports are ready. How nice of them. We might even utilize them to push all the AT guns that we have had before. But I don't, think, I don't think there is a need for it. So definitely have a site towards at least one of these buildings full of German hood. Maybe probably officers or other officers and other officers. Who knows? Okay, so let's see. What is happening here? I have moved my, my beautiful sniper. Let's slowly move towards the Germans. Just slowly move towards the Germans and hope that they do not shoot at us first. But again, as I said, officers and snipers the longest motherfucking range in the game. The view range. So it's basically like he has actual binoculars, but he doesn't really. Slowly but surely. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? Screw that. I'm gonna move in with the jeep. Let the jeep uh, handle this bullcrap. Okay, definitely you can see a lot of German hood right here. Beautiful stuff. A lot of Germans. It's basically infantry MG34, so that's not gonna be an issue. That's not gonna be an issue. And there is an actual enemy officer, which is a bad thing. I can't believe we didn't kill him. Like, holy crap, as you can see here, we did pass and didn't kill anything with the 122s. How diabolically evil by the Germans. I told you, these guys are super people. Yeah, no ammunition, no ammunition, no ammunition, and no ammunition. There's only one left with some ammunition, 14 ammo. It's gonna take a while for him to reload each shell and then open fire upon it. What's happening? Someone killed something again. If I knew who actually died, again, these guys died, something must have died over here. They're definitely seeing us. Ready to attack. Okay, guys, wish the very best next time. More love, more Germans, and finally, maybe even bombarding the living crap out of the rest of the Germans.